You will be often called upon to create a custom projection to project your data into the projection or plane of projection that you want to be working with. And it is a fairly straightforward process, but all you need to know is how to identify the datum that you want to be using and also the plane of projection that you want to be interpolating into. So here we have relief points. These are elevation points for a area in South Africa. And I want to know what the current projection is of this particular layer. If you go to the source, there you can see that it's hard to be a 1994. Now this is a local datum for South Africa. It's measured in degrees which is absolutely fine. However, if I want to do any kinds of measurements, distance measurements, I would like to have this data actually projected into a planar projection in metric units, something like kilometers, meters, anything like that. So how to do that? You go to your Arc toolbox and your data management tools. Within that, there is a subset or sub toolbox called projections and transformations and what you are actually interested in is the project tool. So I want to project my relief points. In this case I want to actually project my data into HDBS2 LO27. This is what I was able to extract from the properties of the file that I just looked at, looking at the extent. And what I do here is that when I set the output coordinate system, I'm actually going to create a new one. So I'm going to click on the little down arrow and say new projected coordinate system because now I'm working in a planar projection. I'm going to give it a name, for example, hard 94, hello 27, anything that makes sense to you. It is a transverse Mercator projection based on the systems used in South Africa. The central meridian is going to be 27, that is the, latitude of, the longitude of origin, or the latitude or longitude of origin. It's going to be in meters because it's projected. And then the geographic coordinate system needs to be changed to Hartebius Tuk because that is actually the local system in South Africa. So you're going to select Hartebius Tuk. If it doesn't appear under your favorites, you can look under the geographic coordinate systems. Just go to Africa, it will appear there or you can simply search for it in the search box. So your data must be hard to be search 1994. You want the longitude of origin to be um, uh, the 27th one. So you put 27 in there, you say OK. And again OK. And this will create the projection. Once you have created this co output coordinate system file, you can of course always add it to your favorites. You right click and say add to favorites and it will be added to your favorites. You can reuse that then later for reprojecting other files. You say OK and this is how you would not only reproject a file but also how to create a custom planar projection or project coordinate system for use in further analyses. Now you can easily buffer these points, interpolate your surface, create a slope surface, an aspect surface, anything like that. But before you exit a project, you should always verify that you have done this correctly. So when you go to the properties, you will see that now that is the name of the system that you have assigned it. It is in fact in meters, that's what you want. And the datum is the Hardy-Bierstalk datum and it is in degrees, showing that you have done it correctly.